I was challenged to 3D print an army worth 1000 points for 40k using only free STL files available publicly and a small budget printer. I'll show you how I done it and later in the video I'll share the stakes that made this one of the most important challenges I've had. But like any important events in life, it was filled with betrayal, sabotage and deceit by those I least expected. At the end of the video, I'll show off the other guys' armies and you can decide who won. I chose to 3D print a small Dark Angels force thinking I had found a loophole in this challenge that would ensure an easy victory, which I'll go into more detail later. But my first task was to find a vehicle for the list. As the terms are, the army needs to include at least one vehicle one hero and one core unit. I actually found a few pre-supported tanks that I've never seen before. And before last week's decision from Games Workshop to make a lot of things legends, I was hyped to print. I hopped on cults and started playing with some keywords that are used for Dark Angels, which it annoys me that I can't share them with you, but Games Workshop do watch these videos. Which brings me neatly into this week's sponsor, NordVPN. I use NordVPN while searching for these files because I just don't know who is out there trying to get my information. And recently I found out that malware viruses like Trojans and Keyloggers can actually be in any file, which really shocked me. And because I download and get sent a lot of files to print, it's legitimately become a warrior of mine. So I started to use NordVPN for its threat protection feature, as well as being able to appear in a different country in case a certain big company is trying to track me when I use their website for comparisons. I use it on all my devices now. Brothers and sister, we have to stay vigilant with our devices and information because we are all one click away from losing terabytes of STL files, which would be devastating. They also have Nord Locker where you can store your files in an encrypted cloud, which is what I will be doing after this video. So if you want to be protected, then make sure to click my link in the description below so NordVPN will give you a free month and it will also help the channel because it will let them know that I sent you. They have a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's literally nothing to lose signing up. While my initial search was for the bog standard vehicles like Rhinos and its different variants, only having free files admittedly was harder than I thought, but not because they weren't there. I was actually surprised how much free files are still online. In fact, it was because I also made a personal restriction to find only pre-supported options for every model I could, apart from the hero, for one major reason, which I'll show you later. But unfortunately, this is where my plans for including in Rhinos was crushed. The only pre-supported versions I could find were rightfully paid for files, but my efforts weren't in vain because I came across a tank I've never seen before, which is very rare. Now, looking at this tank, it admittedly looks like a guard tank. However, the photos of what others who downloaded it made had space rings in them. In fact, there's this really well done one for Sons of Horus, which at the time, I thought I had hit the jackpot and found a heresy tank that had rules for 40k. After looking more into it, I wasn't disappointed because it's a Macarius tank from the Imperium, which is basically like a second generation Bane Blade. But Bane Blades are guard, right? Well, the file says it's a variant made for Space Marines and after some light searching through forums, a few others agree that Space Marines could use them and as an added bonus, I now have the super heavy tank for my Krieg Force when I print a second one of these in the future. Having this super heavy tank gave me a lot of confidence going forward. Not only is it pre-supported, it's something unique and should amaze people. There were a few reasons I chose this army to print and the next unit is a major reason. But first, let me introduce you to our story's Horus. Sorry, I mean protagonist. One of my most trusted mods, Dr. Vesuvius, cast down a challenge publicly in the Patreon Discord in front of over 800 members at the time. Which by the way, scummy plug, but if you want to join possibly the best Discord server in the universe, then become a Patreon or YouTube member. Doc's challenge was simple on the surface. He challenged me to 3D print an entire army only using free files that are available on cults today. Simple, right? 
But if you're like me and skimmed the message, you would have missed the vital details that I did. It has to be an army that you don't already have models printed or painted for. This was the first stage of the sabotage to come. You see, Doc has been a subscriber and in the Discord for a very long time. He knows that I have almost printed a model for every faction and to add insult to my already limited options, I had to use files that I didn't already have downloaded. I have four terabytes worth of files, which I've come to find out is small time compared to some of you out there, but the stakes couldn't be greater because if I win, he has to change his name and will likely not be able to show his face for a whole month. However, if he should win, then I have to do the unspeakable at the end of this video. Dark Angels are one of the best legions to play with because you can do the standard Space Marine Force with normal Marine troops or Intercessors, or you can do all our Terminators for Deathwing and stomp across the battlefield, crushing your foes beneath you. Or you could go the opposite way and rev up your Kawasaki's and field a Ravenwing force. I wanted to showcase all this variety of Dark Angels in this army so you can see the freedom and flexibility 3D printing gives. First up is the Deathwing Terminators. I was lucky stumbling across these files because I managed to find a pre-supported squad of five unique Terminators using maces and shields, which is so badass and sort of reminds me of my Death Guard. But Dark Angels aren't Chaos. Well, this is when I started to think maybe Chaos is cursing this fallen army because I started to run into a lot of walls. The problem I had was my own fault by only wanting pre-supported files. You see, they can be a bit hit and miss. A majority of these printed fine at first glance, but after looking properly at them, there was quite a bit of little fails as well as an outright fail that just didn't stick to the supports. Now, before I get into the quite honestly awesome Ravenwing side of this army, I needed to 3D print a hero and this is where I had a major setback that made later on very, very difficult. You see, I chose Dark Angels because I was fully aware of files out there of the lion. And one of those files happened to be free. It's very good as you can see, and I had planned for this part of the video to be like, I found three different files for the Lion and Games Workshop can't even stock them. But because I had to do my own supports, this is when I ran into problems. The deadline for this challenge is the 12th of June. And at this point, it was the Thursday before. And I still had to print out all of the bikes. I didn't support the feet and shield well enough, so my show-stopping centerpiece and guaranteed victory was useless. I also, in my infinite wisdom, didn't save the lychee file to alter the supports and went to re-support it from scratch until I was met with a very long list of missing islands on new VTOLs. Mentally, I couldn't do it again. YouTube isn't my full-time job, although I put more hours into it than my nine to five. And at this point, I needed to get another hero model and fast. Earlier in my searches, I downloaded this captain-like model, which looked badass. And I could picture his force sword glowing red hot with energy, slicing down the enemies of the Imperium. So at this point, I decided to see if it would be quicker to support him from scratch and being a much smaller model with less details meant he was. So while he was printing, I had to have a serious look at if this challenge was going to be possible for me. I was running out of time fast with only three or four days left. And I'll be honest with you all, I try not to do too much YouTube on the weekend because I want to spend time with my family. So after much deliberation, I had to inform my opponents that I won't be able to complete the challenge. While I could print pretty much every model I wanted to on the smaller printer, I just simply ran out of time. So I asked the brothers if I was allowed an extension to which the referee ruled out putting me in a corner scrambling for solutions, which ended up being that for me to complete this challenge and video, I needed to fire up the Manufactorum and use the bigger printer to help. I just want you to know that it is 100% doable on the smaller printer and my lack of planning and procrastination shouldn't make you think otherwise. 
with the authorization given, I put a pause to a titanic project that I have coming up and loaded up the files for the Raven Wing bikes. The files I found on Colts have attack bike and normal bike options, so I thought the best way to do it would be three of each to make two squads. The sergeant of the normal bike unit comes with these lightning claws to make him really stand out. I don't know what it is about bikes in 40k, but I just love them. So these were always going to be in the list. But another thing I love is treadnoughts. And if you watched my last video, I found this free Leviathan treadnought. So I printed another one to round out this army and make it complete. Doc and Chi Man had finished their armies well ahead of me and were relaxing on the last day. But with my professional procrastination and setbacks on the last day, I was painting for six hours straight trying to get them finished and submitted before the time was officially up. Through bloodshot eyes and sweat from this ridiculous heat we've been getting, I finally finished it with two hours to spare. Chi Man's army is this really cool Sisters of Battle Force including Celestine which I never even thought of but after seeing his results makes me want to print out some. Doc went with Admech and honestly he killed it with these toasters. I never thought of implementing a meme into an army and it was at this point I realized that I'm probably going to lose. Until the votes started coming in. Leave a comment right now and let me know who you think should win after seeing the pictures. My Dark Angels took an early lead with Doc biting at my heels constantly but then I started to get further and further ahead so I went to bed absolutely shattered from painting and tried to forget all about it. The next morning however I awoke and the red wave had left me and Chi Man in the dust. I just had to hope that throughout the day more people would jump on and vote for the fallen or else I would have to do the unspeakable. Another day passed and well you wouldn't believe it but before I share the results I just want to say that what this video should show you is that there are great files out there for printing and they are free. However, I do believe that the paid for files in many cases do surpass the free options and Games Workshop's models in level of quality. Regardless, we were only allowed to use free files and the winner of the challenge was Doc and his Admech army, which was very deservedly so. He absolutely killed it. It was such a good entry. I had no chance whatsoever. So now comes the unspeakable forfeit. Magnus did everything wrong and I was wrong to say otherwise. I'm sorry brothers, but chaos has fallen this time. But if you would like to see more challenge videos like this, then drop a like, leave a comment, and more importantly, you need to watch this video next because I 3D printed a legend of a model to start off my childhood dream army. As always, I want to give a huge thanks to my Patreon and YouTube members, especially those that voted. Even though I lost, it was such fun and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Apart from you, Doc.